All right. You got your uh, stuff stuff together. No. Like you. Are you together? No. That's my charm. Aloha, welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Hi. This show uh, brought to you by the Star Advertiser, uh, bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii Thing. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser's uh, digital full access. Mm -hmm. Yes, go to the website, StarAdvertiser.com. Punch in the code Ahai Thing. Ahi Thing. Yes, also Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Federal. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union Good is job. here for you. Just visit their website, Hi. Fi cu dot com. Nice. Kamehameha, Kamehameha schools. See, you bachi yourself. We also yourself. gotta say mahalo too. Uh, they're building communities for a brighter tomorrow. Shop and dine locally, and together we'll help create spaces for our kiki to thrive. Yes. Today we got a great guest today. Yes. Yes. I so love this guy. Like I'm fanning out I, uh, a little bit here. I was trying to. I called my mother to try to figure out when did my my mom and his dad meet. Okay, and then, this is going to get good. Yeah, so it was, uh, I was around three or four years old. Uh huh. So that's right around the time I met this guy. Okay. Yeah, and it, it's a weird, kind of weird story. But uh, <laughs> our guest today uh, has a nice Hollywood resume, to say the least. Uh, you might remember him from the classic movie Ninja Turtles. Yes. Uh, he also starred in the movie Surf Ninjas with, yes. with Kelly Who. Oh, was you she might, in that? Yeah, she was in it. Oh. We'll ask him if uh, he made out with her. Uh, he also starred. Uh, in the movie Red Sonia with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh -huh. And who was it? Grace? Brigitte Nelson. Brigitte Nelson okay. was in it. Yeah. He was also one of my favorite movies of all time, The Last Dragon. I think it was one Based of yours. Based my whole life <laughs> on the wardrobe of Vanity in that movie. I love Vanity. Uh. Oh, my gosh. He did one of the best fight scenes in history. And that's yeah. my personal opinion with The Rock in the rundown. Mm. If you don't remember that or didn't <laughs> see it, go see it. If you're a UFC fan, you might have uh, seen him lately in the corner of the Diaz brothers. He also ah. uh, trains Wiz Khalifa, Snoop Dogg, and we'll ask him who else he trains. Ladies and gentlemen, Ernie Reyes Jr. Woo -woo. How you, brother? What's up? What's up? What's up? Nice to see you, man. Okay, so get Good into it. You too. How did you guys meet again? How does anybody <laughs> meet Lanai? Like, that's the pervading Ernie, question you, in Hawaii. Do you remember? We were young. You don't remember yeah, anything. Yeah, I don't know. I know it has something to do with your family and martial yes. arts yes. and that kind of thing. My Uncle Teddy, mm -hmm. uh, my cousin Baron, uh, they're all martial artists. And they, the, Ernie and his dad, mm -hmm. uh, they all work together. Oh, okay. And uh, I was involved a little bit in it. and then. So you know him before you were famous. No, he was famous out the womb. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Ernie was famous out the womb. And then he still paid attention to you? But we reconnected, Ernie. How old were you when we reconnected, when you started coming back to Hawaii? Uh, like around 19, 18, 19, yeah. somewhere around there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And we, and we, we partied yeah. like it was 1999. Got it. Yes, sir. Okay. Was, those were great times. <laughs> I, I mean, that was it, man. It was Hawaii. It was the thing. And it was funny. It was like... Yeah, it was amazing. It was like some of the best times. Of so my you life. have ties to Hawaii. I mean, other than Lanai, like whatever. But like you. Yeah, I have family. You know, right. um, you know, out in Waipahu, where all uh, the yeah. Filipinos yeah. are. Right? But it, what what, uh, what was weird about when Ernie would come to town, we would never know because there was no cell phones at the time. Okay. And yeah. we would write Ernie, and we would end up at yeah. a club. And then at four o'clock in the morning, we ended what up at club Lee are Lee you Bakery, ending? What club are Bobby you? Bobby McGee's, and okay. then we would end up at my house, and then the yes. next this would go on for days and days. <laughs> And then eggs and things in the morning. <laughs> yeah, eggs and things in the morning. <laughs> Dang. But uh, I'm so proud of you, man. You've done so many cool things in your, with your life. Um, Thank you. And you've been an inspiration to a lot of a lot of people. I know Brooke's favorite movie. Uh, was the last what dragon. was the guy the what's the other guy with the jerry curl in the movie who was he was shown up shown up yeah yes he, wasn't he like he used to hang out that was the thing in la he would always be up at crunch working out <laughs> forget who <laughs> that you oh. see has he been around have you seen that guy well, no, Julius Carey passed oh, away. Uh, no, I'm talking about the other. The but young... I think you're talking about Ty Mock. Ty Mock. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. yes. that's yeah. who I'm talking about. That's who I'm talking about. Yeah, he was yeah. like he was like the sunset Jesus. Like you knew right. like when you went to Crunch, you would see him. I totally forgot Julius yeah. passed away. Well, how many years has that been now? Uh, at least a handful. 
<laughs> There's no anniversary. You guys didn't have like an anniversary Time of it. Time is a relative now. Oh wait, sense. for what? What are you talking about? For for uh, the movie for Last Dragon. Oh no, it's just 35th anniversary. 35th just, anniversary. This, no, yeah, it's this not. Summer. No, it's not. Wow. 35, yeah, really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. Are you guys? Do, is there plans for anything? Are you gonna do? I a, gotta... uh, not really. I mean, they did a, a kind of virtual uh fan experience uh not too long ago um and uh i was supposed to actually do that but i had some uh something come up that i i, I had to take care of but uh yeah there's never been uh you know anything like official from the filmmakers or anything like ernie, that ernie we got to put that together we're going to take a quick break we're talking with <laughs> ernie reyes jr of this show brought to you by the star advertiser bringing you what hawaii matters it's a hawaii thing viewers can receive the star advertiser digital Full access subscription. How much is it again? Nine ninety five. Nine ninety five. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Federal. Yes, now offers convenient branch locations across Oahu and Maui. Visit highficu dot com. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Ernie Reyes Jr. Woo-hoo! hanging out with us today. Yes, sir. Mahalo for joining us. You're uh, you're based in L.A., aren't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, right? I'm originally from uh, San Jose. Uh-huh. Oh. That's where I was born. And then uh, I moved down to Los Angeles uh, when I was about 12 years old and uh, been here pretty much ever since. I've lived a couple of other places here and there over the years, but uh, pr- predominantly I've been here in L.A. Now, so uh, you, you, now I remember, Brooke, how I uh, met no, Lanai. When I, okay. Like, like is, now, is it juicy? always was around the most beautiful women. <laughs> no i mean yeah. that is true though i mean i'm not gonna take i'm not gonna take credit that for that but i do remember distinctly growing up and being, i was like what what is that about everyone thought i was mahu that's why oh is that it yeah i think that's okay what it is. makes sense ernie you've been uh you've been seen a lot in the in the ufc world how that get, how that all start you know i just uh over the course of just my martial arts you know career i've been able to you know, had the opportunity really to uh, train with some of the best martial artists in the world uh, mm-hmm. since I was, I've been eight years old, you mm-hmm. know, including, you know, uh, your family too. Yeah. Uh, Ted Taboro is like, you know, legendary martial artist. Uh, and so, you know, that's been my fortune is to be able to train and work with, you know, uh, amazing martial artists, uh, you know, over the, over my lifetime. And more recently I have been able to, you know, uh, had the opportunity really to train, you know, uh, with, uh, Nate, uh, Diaz, mm-hmm. you know, uh, up in Stockton, California and, uh, which is close to, you know, where I'm from. Uh, and I, I was a fan of him and his brother for, uh, for years because I, I we grew I grew up in you know San Jose there was all the fights yeah, were in yeah. San Jose the Bay Area is big time in terms of MMA you know uh, strike force that yeah. kind of thing and so I was a huge fan of them because they were always just kept it so real you know mm-hmm. and I love yeah. that uh, coming up in the film and television industry I was like dude these guys are like so amazing yeah and then having respect for them you know a- as martial artists so I've had the opportunity to uh, spend a little bit of time uh, training with him. And uh, it's been an honor. You know, he's a real martial artist, regardless of whatever UFC, that's all yeah. all cool. But the one thing that I have tremendous amount of respect for those guys is that they are martial artists. They're not just fighters, right? Mm. So there's two types of type of fighter, you know, yeah. fighters, like fighters. And then there are martial artists, meaning what there are, mar- they're going to continue to do martial artists, even when they're no longer fighting or yeah. competing as an athlete because it's a way of life. And so uh, I know for sure, you know, uh, they're, they're all about it. And yeah. uh, so you're in their corner, like you're them. you're in the rings with them when they're out there doing the fights, like you're in their camp. Is yes, that... now. Wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's, he, he's in with wow. them all the way through. Um, it's been interesting yeah. to see the, those guys grow up because I met them a couple of times and they're nothing like what you think. They're such nice guys. Are they Filipino? No, not, they're not. But oh. such nice guys, uh, and the persona that they put out really has made them who they are. You yeah, know? I mean they're they're all you know one hundred percent authentic, one hundred percent real. So 
you know, I always kind of gravitate towards those type of people. So too. you've been you've been training a lot of people lately. You have a, a here a comes new the name drops. You have a new company, uh, drops. Kick Punch. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, so you know, <clears throat> it actually started when uh, I've been doing a lot of training uh, over the last ten years or so. Um, I got certified by the Strength and Conditioning Association and started doing a lot of personal training about ten years ago. And uh, yeah, so more recently, uh, you know, I've had the opportunity to train a lot of people. Uh, I'm here in in Los Angeles. Uh, I was uh, I've been training people out of Unbreakable Performance, which is out in uh, West Hollywood, um, off of Sunset and Roxbury. Jay Glazer's gym. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, great gym, great great vibe. You know, doing a lot of great things for veterans. So, uh, yeah, so I've had an opportunity to train a lot of people, you know, and uh, it's been awesome. The last time I you saw know? you, we were at uh, Wildcard and you were with uh, Brian Valoria. Yeah, you know, I love Brian. He's such a good guy. Uh, he's awesome. You know, I got to, got to train. Like I said, you know, I've had the opportunity to train with, you know, amazing people yeah. over the years, you know, and, and Brian's last couple of fights, I was able to to be there training and running and conditioning and being in the gym with them. So that was an honor as well. And that's just, you know, all of that stuff, just as a martial artist, it's just kind of all those experience stack on top. Yeah. Of yeah. We, we want to talk more about yeah. this and we got to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll be right back. Welcome back on, to bro. It's a Hawaii thing. Ernie Race Jr. hanging out with us. Because I'm trying to like, I don't know anything about fighting. It's okay. I don't know anything about it. You know Freddie Roach and you know Manny Pacquiao. You because just, I watch uh, the HBO specials. So when you say wild cards, I'm like, oh, I think I have that t-shirt. Yeah. I think I ordered it online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, you know, Ernie's been training with the best and teaching the best. Who else have you been Oh, uh, you teaching? know what? I totally lost. I just, this, I just, my brain got scambled there for a second. Mm, you asked ahead. me about Kick Punch Club, and uh -huh. then I started talking it's fine. about that. It's fine. It's fine. We can pick it up. This yeah. is not live. Yeah. You. So Kick but Punch. I do want to. I want to circle back to that. So, yeah. uh, thirty days into, you know, uh, the summer, I'd say, um, you know, I was spending a lot of time, you know, at the house with my kids, and I was like, hey, you know, they're bouncing off the walls. We need to figure out like a way to mm -hmm. exercise at home. Uh -huh. And I said, you know, a lot of other parents are in the same situation. And so I, cr I founded the kick punch club Awesome. and, uh, it's basically just, you know, it's a virtual training program for men, women, and children where they can work and, you know, do at home workouts, you know, anytime, anywhere. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going great. I launched it about four months ago. You know, I have people in, you know, all over the place, uh, -huh. uh all across the country. And it's and it's going awesome. So uh, I'm super excited about that. And uh, I know that you know exercise is a huge part totally. of people feeling good. Yeah. And with everything that's happening around us, you know, and all of the challenges that we're faced with, you know, exercise is just an important part of you know uh, the recipe for feeling good and staying focused and being able to kind of fight through all those challenges that you know life. You know, you, you you know, life hands to you, yeah. and so I know exercise is a huge part of it. We got to get broke on being, that program. You know, a yeah, UFC fighter or this or that. <laughs> it's about you know exercise and making sure that you're you know on a path of health and happiness. You yeah, know, because yeah. your health is a. At the end of the day, you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Because yeah. that reminds me of when we had Ziggy on the show. Yeah. Because you should get him with Wagwam. Oh, with Camp yeah. Wagwam Ernie. And gotta, Ernie. I got to introduce you to Ziggy Marley. He has Camp w Wagwam, which is what you're doing. He, he was like, I got to do something for my kids. Because they're going out crazy. So he created a camp. And, and then he had Lanai on and called him a chef. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> um, to have them teach him how to make poke. So yeah. like he has guest people come on. and Yeah, like, I'm going you know, to introduce you to him. Now, who who have you been sure. training that's, that totally surprised you? That go, oh, God, this guy. One more time. Who have you trained in the last, you know, three or four years that totally surprised you that you said, wow, this guy's got it. Yeah. Like he could fight. He can fight. Or she. Thank you. You know, yeah, I've had uh, the, you know, the honor actually to train Wiz Khalifa, you know, regularly over the last couple of years. And, you know, the funny thing about teaching is, is when you teach people, you know, a lot of times the, you know, uh, the teacher is gaining as much as he 
the, the, the student, student yeah. you know, is getting just by the process of teaching, uh-huh. right? And this is with and Khalifa. So, yeah. You know, there's a lot of things that I have, you know, uh, uh, you know, you develop great relationships when you share uh, a lifestyle, yeah. you know, that's built around training, right? Because it's, it's, uh, it's something that is not just for a short period of time. It's like, we're, we're, this is kind of a way of, this is our way of life, mm, right? Yeah. So I've had the opportunity to, you know, just connect with lots of great people, you know what I'm saying? And and have our relationships base, be based around training, yeah. right? And so- Because uh, you wouldn't think Wiz Khalifa yeah, was mean, that Over person. at Unbreakable yeah. Performance, they, you know, they have, you know, I've had the opportunity to work with just a ton of people. They do, a, I mean, they do a great job over there you know, uh, you know, and, and I've and I've seen everybody over there. It's a real high profile gym, you know, uh, with ho- high profile clients. And so, but you know, I'm focusing on really just being able to help, you know, and give value to, you know, really the the world and try to make a global impact in terms of inspiring fitness yeah. uh, by creating a fun fitness program that's virtual training. And really, it's scalable, meaning that it can be anything to anyone. It can be just kind of something that's a lot of fun and whatever, or it can be, you know, uh, used by top tier athletes and martial artists. It just depends on you know where you're at on the you know in the journey. But uh, you know, I'm just really grateful to be alive. To tell you the truth. You well, know, I wanna, and, I wanted uh, to, my I, whole life is just based upon trying to, you know, give value at this point and yeah. create an impact because I've realized that that's what it's all about. You know, uh, that's it. Um, but we're talking about health and wellness. How are you doing? How's your health? You know, I had uh, kidney failure five years ago, so mm-hmm. I've been on dialysis for five years, which means basically four hours, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I go to an outpatient center to have dialysis, wow. receive dialysis uh, for four hours. So 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's how I start my days. And so, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm grateful, like I said, to be alive. I'm getting closer as time goes on to getting a kidney transplant uh-huh. uh, so that I'll gain a little bit of, you know, time and energy and space back, you know, uh, when that happens. Um, but you know, I'll tell you like, uh, straight up, you know, uh, where I was five years ago, just in terms of just like my mindset mm. and like the way that I viewed life and all of that, you know, five years, uh, later sitting here with you talking, seeing where I'm at, seeing the state of the world and everything else that's going on. Like, I'm really grateful that I've had to deal with the challenges of being a dialysis patient for five years and having to go to dialysis center and contemplate life and death, like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at like an ungodly hour, you know what I mean? Just to survive and live. I mean, there is another option, which is don't do dialysis. Right. Right. And then your time is up. Right. So, all of that changes your perspective over time, Mm -hmm. right? And so then you arrive at this place and you go, man, you know what? Like, I'm really just grateful just to be alive Mm -hmm. regardless of anything, you know? And that changes the way that you approach things. Right. Otherwise, you know, you're just like, ah, and you know, and I've been through all of that, you know, being resentful and jaded Mm -hmm. and angry and Hollywood and Mm -hmm. all of that. So I've already walked through all of that, you know, and, you know, uh, you know, you get scarred up along the way. Right. Right. And it's like, uh, but fortunately I have that, uh, experience and life, uh, life experience that I can pass on to, you know, like my children and other people where it's like, Hey, you know, I walked down that road before and let me tell you what happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is why you don't want to, why you don't want to go down this right. road. Right. Well, you know, I gotta, why you've got it, you know, it's so inspiring. Cause you know, I follow Ernie on social media and we talk whenever we can, but mm-hmm. it's so inspiring. Cause I know what you've been going through, but every morning you get up and grind. Well, and you're yeah, like, man. you're still in physical yeah. top shape for someone who's no one would know. But you know, that the thing you're is, in. is, that's what I'm saying, though. It's like you, when you get to that edge, mm-hmm. 
of life and death. Yeah. And then you go, okay, like one more step and then it's over. Right. Right. And then you're, then you come back. Then you say, well, what the f am I doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Like, you're am I just going to chill yeah, and do yeah, nothing? Yeah. yeah. Right. You're right. reprioritizing. I'm, I'm not going to have any purpose right. with my day today. Like, I'm not going to live with him. And I already had fun and did that mm. and yeah. ain't walked around aimlessly right, 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 all right, through right. my 20s right, and 30s right, 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 and right. into my 40s. Right. right? And so now we're here with a little bit more focus of attention, mm -hmm. yeah. and, right? And, and, and more and concentration, yeah, and, and more purpose driven, yeah. and more on mission to right. living your best life, and not having any excuse or justification of why you're not doing that now, right? Other than working hard to build that and create that. Why aren't and you doing a TED talk? Are Drop you doing TED mic. talks? Drop the mic. Do a TED talk. Is he not doing TED talks no, but yet? I'm going to send him this video. Um, Ernie, we, you know, we have so much more to talk to you about. We want to thank you for joining the show. Wait, we're going to YouTube's. I know you can okay. join us on YouTube. Subscribe for the rest of this conversation. And, uh, we got a, we got a gift for you. Ernie. Oh yeah. Okay. Gotta, so you, this is a contest because yeah, life is we a contest. Enjoy snack pack for you. You can either take the sweet that's mine or the salty that's broke. Spicy. Which one would you like? I gotta go with bro. Spicy. <laughs> no, that's all right. Ernie Reyes Jr. Uh, Follow him on uh, all his social media uh, platforms. I love you, uh, brother. You take care, okay? I love you too, man. On. Yeah, aloha. aloha. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Uh, it's the extended version. Ernie Reyes Jr. Mm -hmm. is hanging out with us. And uh, such powerful messages Ted that you got, man. in the works. So inspirational in everything that you're doing. Yeah, you know, dialysis is a... No is, joke. It's a no joke. I passed a kidney stone a month ago, and I didn't know what it was. Ooh. And I was in my hotel room rolling around on the floor. I should have went to the hospital. He literally thought it was dying. Uh, but I shot it out. Okay. And, uh, Thanks for the graphic. But it woke me up. It woke me up. Everything, something happens to you all the time. It wakes you up, right? Okay. But when yeah. did you... Uh, because you're a pretty healthy guy. Every As long as I've known you, you've had abs. <laughs> And because uh, that's an indication <laughs> of health. Okay. And, and you've been in shape and you, it was part of your life. I mean, you're a physical person. So, yeah. Yeah. so it, this happened five years ago, you said, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, honestly, it's, you know, these kinds of things, it's a, probably a combination of genetics, genetics and yeah. this kind of that, like, and it's not just like your parents, it's just like your, your real lineage, yeah. you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, when you look through things, you see patterns and trends within certain tribes and, mm. and, and people, whatever. Uh, but, it, but you know, I, I have to say that, you know, like I said, from my early 20s into my 30s, that's like a good two decades worth yeah. of like, being in Hollywood, going hard on, yeah. in, you know, every in every which way, mm. yeah. including still training. Yeah. Right, but right, still right, like right. burning, you know, the 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 candle on both ends all the time, yeah. and stressing, and mm. you know. So basically, I ended up on dialysis because of, you know. Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> okay. uh, That's Wiz Khalifa calling. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Wiz is like, I want to drink. <laughs> Where you at? Uh, I was gonna say was. Uh, you know, the two number one reasons people end up on dialysis is hypertension, blood yeah. pressure, high blood pressure, and uh, diabetes, yeah, right? Yeah. And so, you know, I had uh, undetected high blood pressure for years. I never even went to the doctor. Wow. Like, I'm, I'm running six miles a day. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm healthy. You know, I don't but need then Kaiser. At night, you know, you go out and you have, you yeah. know, you five or six cocktails and you do that <laughs> you know what i mean and, er, and Bobby everything McGee's. else and then it just you know and basically you know over the course of time we don't realize that these things are not just like hey and then i got kidney failure it's oh, like yeah. dude yeah. you that happened because that's been yeah. building up for right. the last 20 fucking years yeah. wear and tear get it straight yeah. you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. like yeah. you got the mileage on you totally and so now we're here at this point and it's a great time to reset mm -hmm. you know what i mean and restart and go okay regardless of whatever up to this point now here moving forward right i have to be cognizant and aware right. of where i'm at on the timeline is like hey you know now you're in your 40s in your 50 and now you need to start thinking about your health in a different way mm -hmm. versus 
going hard and then waking up early in the morning and True. you know and then just yeah. going going and right. going right. you know Hey, I want to it talk, uh, you, you have so much uh, that you've done in your life. Now you have some new prides in your life, your daughter. Aww. Uh, she's, yeah. uh, what is she, tell everybody what she's doing right now. Amazing. Yeah, she, she has, uh, she started acting a couple of years ago. Um, and she has a movie that she filmed last summer uh, with Robert Rodriguez. Nice. Uh, amazing director. And uh it's in the world of spy kids and shark boy and lava girl and it's a kids superhero movie and uh, she's in it and uh, just super proud of her you know and do you uh, put so her in heroes is her movie do you it, put it, her it, in it uh, do you put her in acting or did she follow it on her own like were you like the stage parent was like oh you should audition no no yeah no um she got into i mean she grew up watching me so right. we would do these kind of like at the alamo draft house 35 millimeter prints i would always bring her along with me so she saw the last dragon and right. ninja turtles one and two and surf ninjas all on the big screen 35 millimeter uh, prints you yeah. know so she always just was around you it. know that was just always part of it right you know? yeah. she got it uh she got it she booked a t-mobile commercial and that was like her first little thing. And this is like her first major motion picture. But no, I'm always, uh, you know, we're very just, as long as you're having fun doing it, yeah. that's all it's about for right now. Right. This is having fun, working with great people. You know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. And perfecting your craft, getting better, mm -hmm. so that by the time you're an adult and you're doing your thing, you've got to spend all of these formative years working, developing yourself, figuring out what you like, what you right. don't like, and uh, and then go from there. So yeah, we're just, you know, we're just here to support basically How old whatever is she? it is that she wants to do. She's 13. Do you, do you do you read with her? Do you when you get when you get uh, these things are you read with her? Or do you have a coach? Uh, you mean as far as uh, Scripts, her acting yeah. Yeah. stuff? Yeah, I I coach her. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, we get to work on material and it's awesome, you know, and I always tell her it's, it's not even about the job or who's it, whatever. It's just yeah. about the process, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We get material, we memorize the material, we break down the material, we rehearse it, we find the beats in the moments and we find where the humor is and we find what we need to find in it. And then we, you know, now it's all self tape right, yeah, of yeah. everything. And so uh it's all about just being at you know the house or you know uh inside the studio and shooting stuff ourselves so it's you know really i cherish those moments really for me personally i have i don't even care whether she gets the job or she doesn't <laughs> yeah, it's just like yeah. we're having fun is she a know? martial artist to is do she... great material from like what hollywood is producing right yeah. and uh and so it's just you know it's a good time for us you know just as father and daughter to, to work she, on stuff is she fighting is she a martial artist too like you is she got that part of it under her yeah belt? she's uh yeah she i mean she's balancing a lot mm. with acting right and, music and oh, everything okay. else. She's yeah. lucky you to know, have you. When I was you. growing up, it was just martial One arts thing. All day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now I got to ask you, I, you know, I said earlier that the rundown, the scene you did, the fight scene with The Rock is probably one of the best fight scenes to me. I'm not, I'm probably because I know both of you. <laughs> but how long did that scene take to shoot? You know, I, I can't really remember. It was so long ago, but uh, it's probably like a, you know, uh a week or so yeah. you know what i'm saying from beginning to end there's a lot of stuff that kind of bookends all of that stuff but we came to hawaii yes and we were here we shot some like exterior stuff we didn't shoot the actual fight there though we shot that at the uh la arboretum in uh the in other hawaii Los Angeles. the uh, other the other hawaii <laughs> yeah the other hawaii yeah. yeah yeah what are you working on right now ernie Besides Kick Punch, are you doing anything uh, film-wise, TV-wise? Uh, yeah, you know, there's stuff. You know, I, I did a, a film uh, that's going to be, I think, coming out sometime this year. Uh, had kind of a, a, you know, a nice little role, did some action stuff. You know, I have some friends that are doing TV stuff uh, that they have in development and whatever. So there's stuff on the horizon. 
you know, but uh, I'm not really focusing on, you know, acting at this point. I'm really focusing on building something, uh, you know, A, I'm focused on building something for myself that mm-hmm. I have ownership in, right? Yeah. right. Um, and, uh, and at the same time, it's my platform to be able to give to people in a real way. It's cool to entertain people, mm-hmm. but uh, if you can entertain people and then also, you know, affect people's lives in a right. positive way, then everything you're doing just, you know, uh, you just have more opportunity to to help more people, and that's really what I'm all about at this point. It's Man, uh, it's would, wild for me I'm to realize you, you that would, you because, would have never you would have never you know, said that at 21 it's, years old. It's like a, it's like I'm at a TED <laughs> talk right now. Yeah. Like you literally have to take this everywhere. Yeah, people like, need to hear this message. Ernie's for always reals. been in- inspiring. You know, for reals. What have you guys been doing uh, during? What What did you do this last year? Besides, what did we all besides, do this last besides year? Besides on video, like, like what did you guys? Is there anything else? Did like you know some people got? I'm gonna start painting. I'm gonna start doing arts and crafts. I'm gonna eat my feelings. Was there anything else that you <laughs> that you got involved with that we'd be surprised? No, I mean really honestly, I'll just be straight up, real, real, right? Yeah. It's like. For real, for real, brad. No, um, <laughs> no, but like honestly, survival, right, yeah. is so pressing. Amen. For me. Yeah. Like real, real talk, right? Right. It's like it's not. I'm not chilling. I'm not like kicking it. I don't live like a movie star life, right? I'm trying to figure out like how all my insurance is gonna get paid for. How. Mm. You know what I mean? Like real, real shit. Like and real a, shit, right? The, a, with a it's global, like real life, real life fucking challenges. Right, right. Yeah. and a global right? like pandemic. How are we gonna make, you know, how are we gonna survive? Are you guys, how is dialysis work during a pandemic? Because you're like, you're compromising your health. Like if people are out partying like YouTube stars in California, right? And spreading the virus yeah, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. And you go to the Ralphs. Yeah, I mean, like you want to punch I, I everybody out. Cause you're like. Take care of myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like things are are so real at this point mm. that my focus is doing everything that I can for my kids, yeah. right? Which is fucking keeps me super busy. Right. Yeah. Like there's no time <laughs> to do anything else. Right. Like, yeah. and then you know I I founded Kick Punch Club this uh, July fourth this year, you know, and and so the first half of the year was just basically reeling from going. What the fuck's going on now? And how am I supposed to, what are we going to do? Right. And yeah. just sitting here, right? And then so then it became about, all right, this is now my res- my correct response for what's happening, which is to focus in on something that I can control yeah. and not worry about anything else right. and just keep doing what pivot. I'm supposed to be doing. You so got to pivot. Really, it's just about, you know, uh, Kick Punch Club, taking care of my family and that's really about it to be honest and then and then like i like i said i always have opportunities to work with great people and in the process of training them in kicking and punching or striking or whatever it is that we're doing i always get these huge life lessons by meeting people and just seeing how they function and operate Mm -hmm. that makes them successful like how did this person get from where they came from to being where they're at. Right. They, they must operate and do things a certain way. Yeah. Because the, the, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Deep. Yeah. That's real talk. You know what I'm Boy, you're turning into like Mr. Miyagi, Ernie. Real, <laughs> real talk. Hawaii. I love it. I love it, man. Um, so hey, so get your shit together and <laughs> don't ever be late on my fucking interviews Boom. ever again. All right, drop all right. the all right. mic. I'm gonna take the blame for this for the crew here. <laughs> I will take all the right. blame. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> no, and you know I'm always an on-time person. That was that's one of my biggest lessons. I uh, remember my daughters. You talked about yeah. it with Andy Bumatai. I'm always you on time. Talked about you, it with Ziggy Marley. And they all, and they, yeah. all my friends know I'm always I'm always early. I'm yes. the guy like, oh my gosh, yeah. he's here already? Yeah. I, yeah. And I told my daughter, I told my daughter, <laughs> hey, listen, early is on time and on time is yes. late. Boom. It totally is. See? So you have you have uh, other siblings. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Yeah, I have, uh, let's see. I have three brothers and two sisters. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I'm the only child from my mom and dad, but I have, you know, right. siblings on, on both sides. So, yeah, you're I, I'm lucky to have yeah. some younger people underneath me, you know, as your uh, you, you guys still have your, your schools. 
Yeah, my dad has a huge organization. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, they've been, you know, just basically uh, trying to adapt by going online, Mine, yeah. teaching, you know, uh, on Zoom virtual and, and yeah. in those kind of platforms. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, it's just one more challenge, you know, but that's what it is. So. What, hey, what do you think of the new yeah. Karate Kid show? Wow. The what? What do you think of the new Karate exactly. Kid show? That was all he needed to say. Cobra the Kai. what? Cobra Kai. It was like the what? That's all he needed <laughs> yeah, to the say. What? The, the what? what? I, I, honestly, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen you it. Know, yeah. I, I know it's like it. the number one show on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, sorry, YouTube, but I haven't seen it. I, I just don't, honestly, like my day starts at four o'clock yeah. in the morning yeah. every single day. And it's like a lot of it is what I have to do to just be at ground zero. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, and so I don't have a lot of extra time for Cobra Kai. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my okay. God. Oh, I wait, love the, the leg. I know, love, you know, the, leg. Cool, I love but... the low key savage. I love it. It's just like undertone. Brooke, we, we're almost out of time, but do you, do you want to ask him about any of your favorite movies? Like what's vanity? That he's been in? Like what's vanity like? Like for realsies? Like, oh, for real? Like. So that was one of the things, right? Like, I'm from San Jose. Right. I'm like a little kid. I grew up, I was dancing and popping <laughs> and all, all of that stuff before <laughs> The Last Dragon, right. you know? And so Vanity Six, are you kidding me? Like right. I had the poster. I'm you know what I mean? So did I. I Preaching to the choir. <laughs> but like, the like... Showed up. I was like, Last Dragon, they were like, whatever, whatever. They were like, going to New York. <laughs> You're going to go and you're going to do a demo for Barry Gordy. And then we're going to see like, what's up. Right. And so I was there. I had my vanity six poster. I was like, I don't give a shit about any of this. I'm you getting this poster it. sign. That's funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was like, first day that I met her, I was like, shit. <laughs> I'll That's be looking hilarious. at you every day. Uh, classic. <laughs> but no, I mean, vanity was like, I literally, it. it was like, you know, she was it. Like there was no. It was just like. I mean, she was it. the epitome was no was of not just. Not even a second. You like, know, close yeah. second place. No, so. not even close. Yeah. Like, come on. She just like. She Everyone was, was in love with her guy. And girl, she yeah. just walked on just clouds. She was just awesome. Yeah. yeah. It just and she exuded awesome. like such that vibe that you just were like, if I could just have a piece of her hair. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, right. I, you know what I think is cool is a lot of these movies that you've done are coming back around again um, because you have a whole new audience. Yeah. I did. I do have one more question before we go. You did uh, Surf Ninjas and wasn't uh, Dustin Wen in that? Dustin Wen. Was that was, Dustin was Wen? Dustin Wen in, that? in no. Surf Ninjas? No. So, but it was. Am I being racist I don't right know, now? <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, Ernie, but you we talked before you got before you started filming. And you called okay. me and you said, hey, do you know who this girl is, Kelly Who? And I said, yeah, actually, I do know who she is. Right. And uh, she just um, won something. Or yeah, no? she won something. And then uh, you said You're, she's going to be starring in the show. And I have a yeah. rehearsal with her tomorrow. Um, <laughs> and you guys had a it was how old were you? You had a kissing scene. Really? Yeah, yeah I was 19. Yeah, you were 19. Yeah. And so and she's a couple years younger, I think. Right. She was like 16 or uh, something, 17. That's not nah, no, no, man. Your Hang math, your math no? is yeah. way nah, off, bro. Bad. I think she's way like... off. That's <laughs> public school, bro. Well, I was a couple of years school. off. Okay. Okay. So you guys had a kissing scene in that show. How was that uh, rehearsal? <laughs> yeah. That's like, what is that even about, bro? I want to know. Listen. What listen, is that? What? Anytime, listen, of course, it, listen. Those times were the most amazing times of my Halcyon life. Halcyon <laughs> days, bro. It's like, come on. I love Kelly Hugh. Actually, I ran into her more recently. Oh, yeah. Uh, at a, a DreamWorks. Uh, DreamWorks. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I kept keep in touch with her, you know, uh, online. And uh, it's cool. really cool. I'll tell you one thing, just ending it off. You know, Surf Ninjas, even people like, the, the actors in it like kelly who and and things like that uh i actually just you know uh chatted with rob schneider you oh, know, yeah. uh, dming on twitter you know and i was like dude people are loving this like surf ninjas they're waiting for a surf ninjas <laughs> yeah. too man like, <laughs> bring it know. back yeah but you know what's super cool is is that without facebook without instagram without all the social like it, the, the the show is over 
Yeah. There's Thank no you. way to get in contact. There's no way for yeah. anybody to say, hey, I remember you and Sidekicks or Ninja Turtles. or yeah. So social media and technology and what we're doing here today is the thing that has given me an opportunity and a new life because there is a lot of people, millions of people all around the world that grew up on the stuff that I did, yeah. you know, uh, that have, you know, a relationship with the work that you've done. So yeah. I'm, I'm super grateful that technology has gotten to a place where now, you know, the opportunity is for everyone, not just myself, but for everyone is giving them the, the ability to build the life that they want. You know, See? it's just a matter of putting in the work. Lenai hates staying social media. Just doing your thing. So see, that's his pers- see, That's I, him seeing I the totally glass half it. full. And I, I, I use that's social him media. Being Ernie, that's him looking at the world through the eyes of a girl. He hates social media. He's been bashing it all day. Yeah. Like, blames you know, I, everything on social media. What I don't like is the negativity. I love the the power that I get to use it because it's rejuven- rejuvenated whatever I have too. You know, but I. I don't like people's negativity and I don't like people putting each other down on it, but that's it. But we're so proud of you, Ernie. We're so, hey, just uh, I'm listen, proud you of know you. what? Just don't sweat the small stuff with all that bullshit. That's yeah. right. Look, look, I know. keeping it real, 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 real. You know, when you, when none you, of that shit matter. None none of that I, know shit it I know it doesn't. When you do comedy, it's such a different thing. And you know, know, Chappelle's been talking about it lately. It's like he, he, there's very few people who can say, you know what? I don't give a shit. Chappelle's one of them. You just but have to choose to out, be that person. I've been I that way my whole life. If I went out and said something today about something that people didn't like, <laughs> oh, I would be hung. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, brother, no, you're right. Right. you got to have. You're right, but you yeah. know what? You got to. But, but here's the thing: is is you got to build yes. to that place. Yeah. You freedom. You have to earn that space. Yeah. Every step of the way, so then you can eventually get to the place where you can tell everybody, True. hey. Fuck you! I do yeah. it my way. Because he's that's my how guru. I'm buying it. <laughs> he's my spirit animal. I told you, Ernie's the man. Like you, so for realsies, I'm starting a cult for for, for reals. For your, reals. New, your new president of the Ernie Reyes <laughs> Jr. fan club. Woo. Ernie, oh, we it. we uh we're gonna there send you your box of goodies from Enjoy. Thank you so much. Spicy. Make sure you follow Appreciate Ernie you on all his platforms. Uh, do you have a Kick Punch uh, social media too? Yeah, at yes. Kick Punch Club, uh, YouTube, Twitter, yes. Facebook, Instagram. I'm just starting it off, so content is like, you know, it's just yeah. it's it's literally today. So uh, yeah, but follow me, training online, all that. And you take care, brother. I'll see you in LA soon. Thanks for being on. No, I gotta come out to Hawaii, man. Yes, you come, me? you come. This you... is the this is me planting the seed. Let's yeah. go. That I'm coming to Hawaii yeah. very soon. And yeah. you know, you can yeah. always stay with me because every time you come to Hawaii, you stay with me. <laughs> Eggs and things. <laughs> Eggs and things. Love you, brother. Take care. Bye. Ernie Reyes. It's Thanks. It's a Hawaii thing. Yeah, we'll yeah. see you guys next time. Aloha. All right, brother. Thank you, man. Oh. Thanks. Love you, man. We'll talk soon, okay? My chair fell down. I know. I watched you. You (laughs) Oh, you did? (laughs) Gotcha.